Hello everyone and welcome to Learning Curve Acres. I'm Marcy. What we're doing today is I wanted to show you how I'm going to make chicken diapers for our little rescue chick, our winter chick. So you can see it's a very simple style. I took the design based off the medical masks. <clears throat> Pardon me, sorry, I do have a sore throat today and I've tried to film without a cough candy and it's just not working, so I apologize. Um, yeah, we ha so I took the design off of the medical mask that you get at the hospital when you go in if you've got any sort of respiratory infection. Um, very basic, you've got a gathered edge on the side here. You've got your elastic which will go around the wing to hold it on and then just a flat bottom and top. <clears throat> the whole premise is before you put the chicken in, into this you're going to pay, put a piece of paper towel or Kleenex in the bottom of the diaper and then it goes on around the bum. I will show you how this goes on to using uh, <clears throat> our chick in just at the end of the video. So I started off with squares or rectangles, pardon me, of fabric using leftover fabric that I had around the house. This is just, this one here happened to be from an old pair of pajamas. You can see I have some denim because we all have that ripped pair of jeans or that pair that's right on the verge instead of throwing it out as soon as it rips just put at least one leg worth of your fabric into into your um, scrap bin so that you've got it for later use I'll in a later video I'll be showing you how I make hen saddles out of pant legs <clears throat> we'll do that in the spring this one I actually happen to have some material, this is waterproof or water resistant material that you use. I got it from the fabric, our local fabric store and it's for doing fabric baby diapers for like the little pants, uh, rubberized pants for over cloth diapers. So we do have this as an option as well. I made my dog's hunting jackets um, little safety vests out of this for the fall. I made them little capes so that no one would mistake <clears throat> pardon me, mistake one for a deer, especially since she is a beautiful fawn color. And we do walk the, our dogs in the field right beside our house. We just, I had picked this up. I had leftovers. I thought it's for baby diapers, for uh, going over cloth diapers anyways. So let's see, this would be an excellent idea, an excellent option. <clears throat> Plus it's kind of fun to have some, some different colors and different materials. So I'm starting with a, a rectangle of fabric that is five and a half inches or 12 and a half centimeters, or pardon me, 14 centimeters by three and a, so five and a half by three and a half inches <clears throat> or 14 centimeters by 9 centimeters. I then hem the sides. As you can see I've started with this one just hemming down the sides. Now anyone who sews knows that if you have a heavier fabric you really in order to avoid having a really bulky corner you have to cut out the corner. You have to cut that off. Um, <clears throat> it's going to make life so much easier when trying to do this. It's also going to make things a lot easier on your sewing machine, especially if you have an older sewing machine like mine. This I inherited from the grandmother of a friend of mine and I appreciate it greatly. I, I love it, but you know, I have to baby it because it is getting older. You'll want to take the a couple of the frayed ed edges out 
I'm not bothering to iron these. You can if you want to. I just figure I don't have the time. It's just a diaper and it's a, just a small, small edge. So I'm just loading it in place in my sewing machine and a few stitches forwards, back, and then forwards again. And then of course you always want to reverse, you always want to reverse a few at the end as well, just because that's going to give you your knots. <clears throat> So we're just going to do quickly the last side as well. Now the denim is also a little too heavy to put the gathers in on the edge, but that's okay. We can, we can deal with that. basic square has been neatly hemmed off and is ready for its elastic. Now at this point if I wanted to I could put a couple of hand using hand stitching I could just loop these two pieces here together just putting a few stitches through these heavy parts just catching them and that will give me a nice pocket for the diaper. On this one, <clears throat> because this fabric is really slippery and I personally find it difficult to sew with, it did not want to, uh, to it did not want to fold and to stay like this. And also because it does have this water resistant coating when you try to pin it, you will, I don't know if you can see this here, but you will bend your, your little pin here. It's very easy to bend because this is a very tough fabric to uh, get your needle through. The sewing machine will go through okay, but it doesn't like me. Also, one thing I do find quite difficult is trying to get the elastic in to the seam because especially with this material being so hard to pin it doesn't like to stay so I did try gluing it in place first but I still prefer what I did with my other diaper and that's actually a trick that a sewing teacher of mine in high school taught me and that is so you take your elastic and you're going to tie a knot right and get try and get it right at the very very end whoops trying to get it right at the very end of your elastic and had I been thinking I would have done this ahead of time um, But then what she would what she would do is just take the sewing needle and just use that as a base because sometimes elastics can come on they can fray at the end and so they'll slide out and so you just want to get it started going through and I'm using a very heavy duty thread. This is a, a dual purpose, <clears throat> heaviest, 
Next heavy uh, weight up from this would be your upholstery thread. Just to give you an idea. This way I don't need a whole lot of a whole lot of weight to it. But I'm just putting them in on one side of the knot and then coming out the other side of the knot. I'm then going to just quickly do a knot here and all right so I'm just going to tie do a knot here now and finish this up quickly oops so one other thing I did do is I I did put just a couple of stitches in to give that slight pleat that way when the chick is wearing it it creates an actual pocket out and around the bum and it helps to hold the your um, Kleenex or paper towel in place what you're going to use as a diaper liner so that's the basic idea of how I do these chicken diapers, these little chick diapers. And you're going to want to use a size that's going to work for your little chick. Now I'm just going to quickly grab our chick and show you how to put this on. <clears throat> All right, baby, come here. Good, baby. You blew it all the way down onto the floor. Of course, not so close to the edge, please. As you can see, I don't know if you can see that well, but this little one has grown quite quickly. So you're tucking it. Okay. Generally, larger birds are a little more cooperative than the babies. So you're going to tuck it underneath the tail and we can do fine adjusting afterwards and then we we tuck it up the, up and around the top of the wings you really want to make sure that's hooked on okay all right And at first they're not going to like it because it's not something they're used to. All right. Oh my heavens. You're quite the complainer today. And there you go. A little chick in a diaper. Looks like this elastic might actually be a little on the loose side. And so we can just adjust the elastic a little bit. And they get used to it quite quickly. But there you go. There's a chicken a diaper.